Hi there. Welcome back to the SSIS course, step by step from scratch. We have completed our first project and we have successfully uploaded the data in our destination, which is the SQL Server database. And our source file is a CSV input file. We have also seen two use cases. First use case was related to reading the data from the source file and adding into the destination. And the second use case was related to reading the data from the source file doing some transformation on top of it and then adding the data back to the destination. We have all the data now in our destination table, which is our SQL Server database table. As you can see, we have concatenated the employee name from the source table, doing the, done the transformation on top of it, and then now it is ready. So now in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the configuration file. So the configuration file is a very important file. When you are creating your packages on servers, you need to move or change the variables like data connections, server name, database name, maybe other variables as well. So in order to do that, you are not acquired or you are not allowed to open the package again and again on the server and change the settings inside it. However, to do so, SSIS provide a functionality called package configurations. Package configuration is a collection of all the variables used inside the package and so that it is associated with the package model and once you deploy the SSIS package on the server you can just change the configurations in the package configurations change the variable name or server name or whatever it is and then you can deploy that configuration file into multiple servers and your package will directly read the configuration file and update their input variables and will process accordingly so let's have a quick look on that so this is our project with my integration go to my project right click and click on convert to package deployment model once you have did that it will ask to proceed click on ok and now you can see that my integration project and first package is ready .ttx. my first package name is my first package and my integration project name is my integration project now this is ready our result has passed now let's click on ok now this you can see like a little green arrow is highlighted over here this means your package is now ready for package configurations. So go to SSIS, click on package configurations and here you have to enable the package configurations and you have to add one. Click on add. This is the configuration wizard. You can click on next and then you can browse where do you want to save your package. So I click on this and it will take me to my project directory and I'll put the name my first package configuration file and make sure it is the with the extension DTS config. Click on save. And now let's click on next. In this window, it will ask you what all the information do you want to keep in the package configuration, which can be changed later based on the server deployment or the production deployment, whatever you are going to do. So these are all the important variables available here listed. For example, I do not know what to do. You can see like here the server name and the connection name is already mentioned. So I'll just click my first package first checkbox and it will automatically check all the values available in my package and it will add that in my configuration file. Sometimes it is not required to add all the values. So you can just unselect it. You can select this specific connection manager. For example, the connection manager I need it. I do not need the source file. I do not need all this information and I do not have any variable associated to it. So I only I need to change my connections. Maybe, for example, if I want to deploy this package on cloud, so cloud might have different server name or might have a different server uh, source file connection. So I can change it later without entering into this package manually and changing it. So let's click on next. You can give the file name some uh, configuration name, for example, like first config file. And now click on finish so it will take some time to create it and close it now once you have closed it you can right click on it and click on convert to project deployment now here you can see your first package is already populating out click on next it will show you your project name is this it is sensitive is user key it means like whatever the data you are putting in this package is encrypted using the user key and the user key is your system password basically using your system hash code. That is a separate altogether course. We will discuss that later. You have multiple options here. You can just set it to do not save sensitive and it's all okay. Do not apply any condition. 
Now let's click on next. Next again. Here you can see my first package.dtsx is already using this config file, which is allocated at this location, which we have already used. You can see like my first package configuration.dts. Now click on next and it will automatically use this variable. There are two variables, which is called package scope and project scope. Since this is a package, you can use the package scope. If it is a global variable, you can use the project scope. So this is a package. So I'll click on next. And once next has been created, my all the configuration is now added to my configuration file. Now it is ready to convert. Now click on convert and it will take some time to convert it. And we have successfully added our configuration file and created our project model deployment and click on OK and all everything has been passed. Click on close. So our deployment is completed. Now here you can see the green arrow is gone and let's go back to our project folder and see here is our configuration file. So this is our configuration file, which is an XML file. And let's click and see what is there. So I click on notepad and here you can see this is the configuration file. Here is the name of my initial catalog, which is my database name. This is uh, my database name. And then you have the security available, which is my server name. Then this is SQL Express, my DB name. This is my table name and all the information has been associated here. Also SSI source file connection is also available here. You can go ahead and you can also make it uh, beautify. There's already a tool available called XML beautify pretty, pretty print and it will basically uh, just render your XML into a line break format so that you can read it like this. So this is the server name and what is your database name and what is your uh, employee table name and whatever it is, you can just go ahead, change it here. It will directly read the data from here and also in this package, you will see this my first package is ready. If you double click this package, it will take some time to load and it will initiate the program. And this same package .dtx will get will be deployed on your potential server. And then this along with this configuration file. So whatever you will change in this configuration file will be directly reflected back to your configuration package. And that will affect the values in your package without manually opening it and adding the data inside it. So that's it about the package configuration. This is a very important feature when you're trying to deploy your package on multiple machines on server or on cloud. And I hope you enjoyed this session. So that's all for the SSIS course we have. If you have any more question, please reach out to me. And if you have any more suggestions, any more ideas to share, I'm happy to answer your questions. So that's it from the SSIS course. I really enjoyed this video and I hope you also enjoyed this session. And there are multiple concepts we have talked about SSIS. So that's it from my side. See you in the next course. Till then, take care and goodbye.